This isn't gonna work well. <laughs> it's fun. Sometimes he's naughty. Sometimes he's nice. But every time he's Dirt Guy. It's Dirt Guy Drive Time with your host, Dirt Guy. Hey everybody, welcome to Nerd Guy Drive Time. This is where I drive around as crazy as a wombat on steroids. <laughs> yep, that's that's how we're going to start this one off. Uh, I don't even actually know what a wombat is, but I'm driving like one on steroids. It's a little heavier on the traffic today, so there's more us time, which is always very exciting stuff. Hey, thanks again everybody for the awesome sauce comments as you fuel the fire that is me and my inspiration to continue making this show whilst drinking coffee. Maybe I'm a wombat on caffeine. Yeah, whatever. We'll think about that later. So a, um, I had a, a victory today, baby. And, uh, you know, uh, something I, I don't know if I've shared with you in the past, but uh, we're, we're the, I'm the dirt guy. We know that, right? The dirt guy drive time, that kind of thing. And I'm the super duper intendant. Now, actually, I'm the lead super duper intendant. But on my hard hat at work, um, my um, assistant superintendent monogrammed on there for me with a dino label. The, look at no hands. That's just dumb. Uh, it says the big stick. Big stick. That's my nickname at work. And because uh, here's the deal. I am just as cool as I could possibly be with my subcontractors. I, I want them to perform well. I want them to make money and have fun and blah, you know, all the cool stuff. I really do. But then um, when, when one of them crosses the line, either with attitude or with uh, poor workmanship or not providing enough manpower, that's when they get to experience the big stick, baby. I just get off. I, well, no, okay, that was, I don't, I don't mean that like that. I'm getting a phone call. I'm not taking this phone call right now. It is another superintendent that doesn't work for me. <laughs> I just TD'd the phone call, turning down the volume right now. So let's go back to the big stick, shall we? So I, you know, I cracked somebody in the head. But the thing is, I have an eye booger. All right, I'm better. So, but the thing is, once once they, they cool out and all, then I, I go back down to being super cool dude again. That's the beauty of it. So anyway, big stick, right? Now, you guys remember yesterday, I told you that I had to send an email off to the water department that told him to step off, son. I don't play that way. You don't talk to me like that. I shut his stuff right down. And, uh, but, you know, between me and you, I was a little nervous about the response to the email. I kept waiting for her to get an email back and a phone call back that was just, uh, somebody was just going to get up into my grill. And uh, I was a little nervous. I'll be honest with you. The big stick sometimes shivers. And uh, I don't know. Is that a thing? Do, do sticks shiver? <laughs> they do in this video. Anyway. So, um, today I was talking to the Cobra. Remember the Cobra? He's the owner's rep. Actually, he and I are pretty tight now. Uh, we bro down, but I still call him the Cobra because he could still be setting me up. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the Cobra. So, I uh, talked to him on the phone. He goes, hey, what's going on with the water department thing? I said, basically, I told him the story. The guy's an asshole. Actually, we say jackhole on this channel. Let's keep it clean, all right, people? So, he... Um, I explained the situation. He knows this guy. So he calls the guy, I guess. Later on, he calls me back. He says, hey, Steve, drink some coffee. And I said, okay, I will. Oh, man, it's exactly the right temperature, too. He says, so I talked to the dude, and um, he was apologetic. He was sincere in his, if we're causing delays or any problems, I want you to know we're We'll take care of it, and if there's any extra charges, let us know. We'll take care of it. Really? That was a good little piece of news, wasn't it? So, uh, later on, but he was going to come to the job today and bring uh, one of his inspectors that I said, I never want to see that freaking guy again, all right? I only want to deal with the man at the top, and I'm the big stick. I, uh, whatever. So, he comes to the trailer. And he's totally broing down with me. Yeah, Steve, you know, wow, how was your weekend? How are things going? Yeah, you know, we're just here to get the job done. And and that other inspector, he's never coming back to this job. You'll be dealing just with me. I'm telling you that whole story to tell you. When the big stick finally has to come out, 
The big stick always wins. I have not been defeated yet, and I now shall never be defeated. My powers are strong. Something like that. I don't know. So, you know, the week is kind of ramping up in the good factor, I would say, because Monday I decided, screw it, I'm making another drive time video. I don't care what anybody says. I don't even care what I say. It's going to happen. And then you guys pumped me up, and then Tuesday I went to work with a fist of, I was pumped, with energy. We'll just, let's just say that. I went to work, I was all like, and got that done. Made another video, and you guys pumped me up again. And now today, I am pumped. I'm the big stick, the big stick is back, bitches. So anyway, that was a good story. It, it ended well for me. Um, and it ended right there in front of everybody that signs my paycheck. That, uh, you know, you don't mess with me, people. It just, not at work, anyway. And um, you know what I realized though, you can't kill a dead man, right? So if I've already accepted the fact that I hate this commute, all right, and I'm so done with the job I'm working on, all I'm risking is getting fired, which I don't think they can fire me right now. I, 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 I'd have to be pretty flagrant. I'd have to murder someone to get fired, I think. And then maybe, seriously. Now they could always can me when the job's over. That's just, you know, that could happen, but um, or they can transfer me to another job. But why would they do that? So I I feel like I know that, and so it empowers me even more. More than that, you guys are like the catalyst, and then the fuel is the fact that I can just say whatever, you know. Oh, by the way, that little symbol I just gave you. What will happen is when YouTube processes this video, it'll see that, and now it's going to be flagged not suitable for all advertisers. You watch automatically. YouTube's pretty smart about that, by the way. So things are just getting better. I'm, I'm ramping up, man, making it happen. So there you go. That's that. That's a long story. I hope you enjoyed that story. But I, I got more. Um, the uh, one of my uh, uh, another in superintendent. I don't, hold on. Oh, this is good stuff. So one of my other superintendents, um, he's a little on the heavy side, okay? He's always got health problems. He's got high blood pressure, high diabetes, low foot massage. I don't know. He's <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, sometimes this, this stuff that just pops out of my mouth, I don't even know where it comes from. But he's got all these medical problems. He's always going to the doctor, always leaving early. Got a doctor's appointment. Finally, the doctor said, you need to go vegan. Vegan! Damn you! Vegan? The f so I told him, listen, I've been telling you for six freaking months. The keto lifestyle, okay? Uh, higher on fats, moderate on proteins, and low or no carbs. I'm telling you, that is the magic diet, the magic pill. That will fix your problem. I guarantee it. And here's why I'm saying that. Um, Everybody I know that's dove in and done it has seen remarkable increases in their health and in their body weight. Just period, energy levels up. How do you guys think that I can do all the things I do with all the videos I shoot, and all the driving I do, and all the stress I'm under on five hours sleep a night? And most of that intoxicated. <laughs> well, except at work. No, no, never at work, never. It's the keto lifestyle and so, I saw him today, wait a minute, he was at his desk reading a keto cookbook. Why wasn't he working at his desk? That didn't occur to me until just now. Why wasn't he working? He's reading a book. I think he brought it in yesterday and I think he was halfway through the book today. What the hell? I, got, I didn't even notice that. I'm too much into my own world, I guess. So anyway. And that's got me to, you guys have heard me say it before, and I already told you what the keto lifestyle is, but for me, the defining factor was, and I'm going to be very serious and sensitive right now, because there are people out there, like I said yesterday, who have just died of cancer, uh, who get cancer and are dealing with it. My general, my, my director now, he used to be general super superintendent, my director, he's been battling cancer for years, always in chemo, always trying the, the latest thing. And it's not helping. And I got to tell you, um, the keto thing fixes that. Um, I made a video about somebody said if the cure for cancer was available, they'd be selling it because they'd make billions of dollars off of it. And the thing is, no, they won't because the cure for cancer exists and it's free. 
basically. It's free. Just kill the carbs, man. Stop eating processed foods. I'll give you a quick little thinger. Um, carbohydrates, carbs, are sugar. When you introduce sugar into your body, your body introduces insulin to regulate the sugar level in your bloodstream. That's just a natural fact. It's perfectly fine. That's what happens. Cancer cells have 10 times more receptors of insulin than normal cells. So by introducing lots of sugar into your body, you're introducing lots of insulin into your body and you're feeding the crap out of your cancer cells. Bottom line. Um, there's medical evidence to support that. I'm not making it up. So, you know, keep that in mind. Well, yeah, I'm not going to preach on that all the time because I, I don't want to take advantage of your trust on this channel. But uh, I, I wouldn't lie about that, uh, especially to you people. All right. Because I'm about as honest as you can be on this channel. Anyway, I lie to people all the time on the modeling channels. Bah! <laughs> no, I don't. I swear. Well, yeah, I must lie because they're convinced I actually have some skill. And I really don't. I just make crap up as I go along. So there's that. And then to, to punctuate that, my wife is a certified keto coach. She studies this stuff all the time. She's part of groups that discuss it on Facebook and blah, 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 and all this stuff, right? She knows her stuff. She taught me most of what I know. And uh, so she's having this, this, I don't know if it's a thyroid problem, some kind of a problem. There's some kind of a, she's honked up a little bit in there somewhere, you know? And so far, all the doctors can do is give her a pill. Here, take a pill and you'll be fine. Uh, you know, temporary measure, maybe. There's got to be a long-term solution, and they're looking for it. So the very last time she's at the doctor's office, hear this. Doctor says, we have no clue what's causing the problem. After they did her blood work and everything, we don't know. We just don't freaking know. But as a to safeguard, here's what you need to do. Um, oh, he said a few things, but like watch your diet. He goes, things like, you know, like, watch your diet. Uh, wouldn't hurt to lose a couple of pounds. The lose a couple of pounds one. Had I been there, I'd have jumped up and bitch slapped that doctor. He basically tore the page out of the I have no freaking clue what's wrong with you playbook and started running that play on her. She just shut her mouth because she, she was so furious. It's like, by the way, doctor, check her body mass index, her BMI for her height. She's got like one pound of fat on her what the hell's wrong with you she's lost 60 pounds you dumbass oh you know uh salt don't and you know cut down on the salt bullshit iodized salt is bad for you natural salt you can have as much as you want you can have as much as you want it's not bad for you Whew, you guys like rants there's a rant <laughs> all right so whatever i'm getting to the place where i'm gonna do the thing that i do when i'm not with you so uh I'm going to have, uh, uh, I suspect you'll be hearing from me for the rest of the week. So, uh, again, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the comments, for the views. This channel is not about building a huge subscriber base. It's not about getting paid. It's not about anything but vomiting onto a camera and having you guys enjoy it. So, <laughs> hopefully something I said inspired you to do something good in your life. Uh, other than that, uh, until I see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening, and uh, I'll talk to you later.